Yeah. All right, call the call the meeting into order. You gonna say the pledge or something? Uh, I don't have a flag. It's on your. All right. right. We'll, we'll skip. Oh, that's my thumb. Sorry. There we go. All right. Well, we'll skip the pledge. Here's what we got in mind. He does uh, this. When we covered it before, we we just kind of did a quick calendar rundown of what it looks like uh, for the next few weeks. We got a couple of small announcements. We've got some pictures of everybody's projects that sent stuff in. Um, an update or two on the tomato sale, and then some ideas for our hats and T-shirts. We'll jump into it. Our our next meeting, we'll do another online one. Is going to be we got someone else joining. Uh, it looks like Megan Birch was coming in. Cool. This isn't a bad idea though. It works. I thought it worked great. We just need to get the other half of our club emails out. Well, I know what I did wrong. I I forgot to include the advisors when I sent the first one out. <laughs> how, many people, to, how many people were on this morning? Uh, we had 12 this morning. Uh, yeah, and that counts both of the Etlings on one, the Jaggers on one, and um, the Havrillas were both on one. So there was, and uh, both of Isaac and Amelia Phillips were on one call as well. So all told, that makes what, 16, 18 members? So pretty good turnout overall. Um, we'll do another online meeting May 17th because we can't do any uh, any in-person meetings through July. I talked to Christine Fetters with the sale committee. Um, it looks like we're not gonna do weigh-ins on the 9th, but they are looking at options on how they're gonna do it. It really is gonna depend on what the governor says in the next few weeks. But at least at this point, they are gonna do something. The did schedule's just gonna be weird. About, Alex, did she say anything about registration? Um, no, they'll just do them at the same time. I, I wouldn't get too worried about registration at this point. They're, basically, no dates are going to matter <laughs> at, at this point. Um, and then, uh, let's see, did Megan Burtz will get on? Yeah, yeah, there's Paul and Megan. Hi, guys. So, uh, We'll just, they said early May, they're gonna make some decisions on what they'll do about weigh-ins. Uh, the next thing we had, as far as announcements go, there is not gonna be a 4-H camp this year, unfortunately. Um, the state decided to, to just cut that completely. Uh, and our in-person in meetings are gonna be canceled through June. Um, so we'll be, we'll, we'll just do another one of these next month and then we'll post updates as they come about. Uh, if you if you feel like sending in your dues, you can mail them to us here at the house, and we'll get them deposited. We did make a new bank account at Park National um, back before everything got locked down. Um, but at least at this point, they're saying they 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 plan to do stuff. Grady Grady said the senior fair board said even if it's just uh, not the big attractions and stuff, they'll do. 4-H stuff in some way. It may just be shows and stuff with family. So uh, there'll be something. We're just not sure what. Uh, our, that's pretty much it as far as announcements, unless you want to chime in, Angie. Are we going to go over like the tomato stuff again? Yeah, that's next. So here's some project pictures. And let me go ahead and just pop that a little bigger so you can see them. There's Hunter Kelly. He's doing a fishing project this year, and he was showing some of his huge catches. That's yeah, he got a fish. chuckle out of that. He got big fish. Uh, the next one is Bailey Fishback. She's got goats this year. She's had them for a few weeks, and I think they actually bred some on site this year. She's pretty excited about her goats. Next is Reed and Rowdy Etling. They're showing sheep again this year, and they're going to do market sheep and um, – and a couple breeding ewes as well. So they're gonna have four sheep in their barn. They're pretty excited. Uh, here's some from today that Kenny Heflin is doing a meat goat this year. I don't have a picture of the, the pygmy goat with Josie, but she has a pygmy goat. So there's goats in a dog kennel. So if you hear a 
skid tires around Bower Road. It's goats breaking loose of a, uh, <laughs> a lawnmower shed. They're They'll get out. They, jump. they have two goats and a lawnmower shed. So you, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Who's next? All right, here's some from our crews. So there's AJ and Cruz with their turkeys. Presently at our house, we have 10 turkeys, 26 meat chickens, uh, nearly 30 uh, egg laying chicks, plus our 30 laying hens. So we, we've got animals coming out our ears, and then we have four sheep this year. So there's AJ Cruz and Silas and Libby are helping out with the, with the lambs. So that's the bulk of uh, the pictures that got sent in. Um, we, we gave a, on the previous meeting, we gave some folks a chance to talk about some of the stuff they have. So the Isaac and Amelia have their steers. Benjamin talked about his steers. Um, Angie, do you remember anybody else who has animals yet? Rowdy and Reed have their sheep. Rowdy yeah. and Reed ha have their sheep. They were on the pictures. The Tislins. Uh, the Tislins have lots and lots. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, Angie, do you? James King, another new member, has his uh, meat goat. Yes. Okay. Is his a brother to Kenny? Yes. Okay. Angie, you want to? Say anything about the tomato sale? We have lots and lots of tomatoes. We do have tomatoes growing, um, but we can't distribute until we get the green light from Kelly um, on when we're allowed to. We're hoping around Mother's Day, mid-May, um, to be able to do some sort of distribution. We're not going to be able to paint any of the pots for the micro tomatoes um, until we're able to meet again in person. But we do have the micro tomatoes growing. They actually look the best out of all of the tomatoes that we've grown this year. That's about it. We're just Anything waiting on word from the powers that be. If we'll figure out a way to make it happen. If they loosen it up just a little bit in a couple <laughs> weeks, we'll figure out how to get them passed out. Uh, how much we had a, we off of that. Uh, well, if we can get rid of all the ones that are accounted for, we ought to make about $400 as a club, that I think is what we have figured. So it's not a bad fundraiser. We've, we've put a little effort into it ourselves. Hopefully uh, next year, if we do it again, we'll be able to let the kids do a little more at the meetings because we'll actually get to have meetings. Right. So that would be nice, but it's been fun here at the house for us. Somebody have a question? Can you just bring me the tomatoes and keep the tomato plants over there? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that, Paul. <laughs> Six dollars a tomato by the time you put in fuel in my time. Oh. Make it out make it out to me personally on that one. <laughs> okay, next. Uh T shirts and hats. So we're gonna go uh I talked to a guy named Shane Jones who went to C and E. Um He's got a company called Fresh Rags, and I've used him for work stuff. He's going to do our stuff this year. We're going to do a different shirt style than we did last year. This one is a it's a blended shirt. It's a lot lighter and stretchy. The ones last year were really heavy. Uh, it means they cost an extra buck, but I think it's worth it. Um, so the youth shirts will be nine bucks this year. The adult shirts will be eleven up to an XL an extra couple of bucks for the triples the hoodies we can get those to match so it'll be twenty dollars hats are 15 if we can get an order of 12 or more the hats we're going to do we'll, we'll i'll show you the color samples but it's a trucker style hat but it's a pretty nice the richardson brand um i use these for work and they're a really nice hat um so we'll i'll show you what we're looking at for colors we're going to do a poll uh i'll send it out to email we'll just do a, a google poll it's pretty easy to set up that way folks can vote so we're either going to do that's a heathered blue it's a heathered green or a heathered red it doesn't show up great here but when we do the poll it'll show i i have a feeling green or blue will be what gets picked based on morning's uh call um so the shirts for the adults will be the same thing. It just, like I said, it's a little bit better material. Oh, we got somebody ready to join. Looks like it's Elizabeth Lindsley. 
let her come in. Bear with me just a minute. There she is. All right. Hello, Miss Elizabeth. We, uh, we're kind of going through a little bit. We're talking about the shirts that we're thinking about doing this year, and we're going to do a poll uh, to pick colors. So it's just a little different shirt than last year, a little a better quality shirt, a little stretchy. Um, the hat, those are the three color hats that we're going to put on the poll. Uh, I'm hoping that the blue gets picked. I like it the best. Um, and then we'll, we'll pick the embroidery that can go on there. Uh, and then the next couple ones are ideas for some of our designs. So these, there's, there's a few designs that can go on the shirts. The shirts can have a more complicated design than the hat. The hat's probably just going to be kind of a logo and um, the club name because it's going to be embroidered. Uh, so these are some of the logos that, or the ideas that got tossed out. Uh, I, I couldn't help but get a kick of straight out of the barn was pretty funny. Uh, these, this group was made by the Etlings. They had a couple different colors, grow big, show big, or go home. And you'll be able to see these a little better when we put them on the pole. I'll put bigger pictures. Uh, these were sent in by Megan Birdsell, several there, and, and I'll zoom in on them a little better when we, when we put the poll out. Uh, these were a couple that I did. Elizabeth, you might recognize that silhouette. Uh, we had a couple where we picked some of our championship animals, so small club, big results. Um, and then we, we did the same thing for another one of our champion animals that was, that's Tate Tislin with his lamb. Um, so those are some of the ideas on logos that could go on the shirts and then we could, we'll pick a, we'll pick something small to put on the, um, the hats as well. Does anybody have any ideas or thoughts or anything you want to chime in on? I think, uh, what is it? The rough hands we've did one. And I think one of Megan's ideas we've done before too. Which one? Know, uh, the rough hand, or this one, 4 H is more. I think we've done that one more recently with me okay. and Mo. Okay. Not that it okay. matters. Just throwing it out there, and we've done the rough okay. hands too. You did the rough hands, farmer's hands, dirty boots, and country roots. We right. did we'll it in color, so we had that exact design at one point. But I mean, that could have been a couple of years ago. So our club's we turned over. We don't want to refresh it, so we'll we'll put a couple of those on the poll. Then I'll pull those a couple that we've already done out. Um, I'm leaning towards one of these two, the either the upper right or the lower left for the hat. Fair, that would look okay uh, in embroidery. I like um, the ones that the Ellen's made. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth, stuff that you might have missed before you popped in. Um, the, originally, we were going to have some weigh-ins and registrations on May 9th. But they, they've said they're going to hold off on those, and they're going to give us some more dates in early May, is what the Junior Fair Board is saying. So in early May? The, yeah, they think in, in about a week or two is oh, when they they're going to know what's going on. Yeah, when they think they're going to do stuff. My guess is we'll probably do some weigh-ins in June, uh, if I was going to venture a guess. But they're not sure yet. Uh, the senior fair board sent their stuff out. They're doing. They're still doing registration for camping and things like that. So at this point, I think they're going to try their best to make the fair happen. Um, I'm sure it's just going to be a little bit different. Would anybody else like to pop in anything else? That's all the info I've got. Angie. No, I'm good. No, Miss Waring. No, did you guys touch on don't respond, reply all? On oh, the my word. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Somebody turned that off. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> replied. Uh, that was awesome. Yeah, that was an entertaining morning. <laughs> yep. I, I usually, I, I try to send out our emails so that you can't reply all. I usually do a BCC. So hopefully we don't have that, at least for our club. But I can't, I can't fix what the county does. Um, <laughs> Anybody else? Are we taking orders for shirts and like if we have family members that want them? 
Yeah, anybody can have them. Uh, the club, the club will make a dollar per shirt. So, okay. yeah, I, we'll we'll uh, we'll put them out. We'll I'll probably just for simplicity, we'll do the poll, and then I'll probably just make an online order form. Um, I can just I can do a Google document on that that you can put your order in online um, to simplify that. So my goal would be to get the orders in by the end of May, and then we can pass shirts out in June. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Anything from the bursals? No. Nope. All right. Well, I think we'll wrap it up then. Everybody, I appreciate you hopping in. Thank you. Thanks for having a second meeting. Have Bye. a great night. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.